Now, brothers and sisters, something profound was going on in the late 20s and early 30s. The government of America was in trouble just like she is right now. The economy was going to hell just like it is right now. There was great unemployment just like it is right now. The night riders were riding. Black men were being lynched and killed. Meanwhile, in the teeming black community, there came strong voices of liberation. Marcus Garvey, Noble True Ali. And in that same era, you get a man like Father Divine, Daddy Grace. He is the leader of this great and holy organization. He is the bishop of the United House of Prayer for all people. He is daddy to the children of the House of Prayer. I speak of none other than our very own precious, sweet, 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 sweet daddy. The United House of Prayer was founded in 1919 and built in West Wareham, Massachusetts. The name of the church was named after a Bible verse, Matthew 21, 13. When God described his meeting place, he used the phrase, House of Prayer. The Lord's house is meant to be a safe place, and that is why in the Bible, Jesus says, My house shall be called a house of prayer. Sweet Daddy Grace wrote a blueprint that all subsequent bishops of the United House of Prayer would follow. He built up significant congregations in New Jersey, North Carolina, and here in Washington, D.C., where numbers are still strong to this day. As are the shout bands that play not only for the congregation during worship, but also led church parades throughout the surrounding communities. United House of Prayer will continue to grow, even beyond Sweet Daddy Grace's death in 1960 and the subsequent succession crisis it caused. Bishop Walter McCullough would eventually prevail and set up to build up a portfolio of low-income housing for parishioners and their surrounding communities. However, in the recent years, there has been regards on how the church has used these funds from these investments in the congregation's offering. The mega money it collects. Stuart Watson is, of course, following the money and finds one of the leading contributors to the church stole the money she put in the collection plate. They call him Sweet Daddy Bailey, the Bishop of the United House of Prayer for All People, a denomination with tens of thousands of followers and deep roots in the Carolinas. Sweet Daddy's followers treat him like a king. Our hidden cameras show followers showering him with cash money. He rides in ultra luxury and lives in mansions, one of them right here in Charlotte. Sweet Daddy Bailey celebrates big donors. But the NBC Charlotte I team found some of those contributions came from millions of dollars in stolen money. But if you owe the church money, it will put you out, quite literally, on the street. No place seems to be safe, but daddy, you've been my protection every step of the way. 
Today, despite controversy surrounding financial management and a lack of COVID caution, the church remains a stronghold along the East Coast.